Hey. working on my week last night. I continued this morning. I'm going to continue when I get home today. Then tomorrow in the daytime, I'm going to a thing, you know, like a workshop type thing, all day workshop at the college. And then I'll come home and I'll continue working. And then the next day is Mother's Day. Which shouldn't be too bad because uh, I think my son, you know, they have limited time. So I don't think they'll be around all day. So, so, as you can see by my use of so. probably be fine. But right now it seems overwhelming. Maybe all the work that I've done already will uh, make it really easy. I don't know. But anyway, what I did all day today was I uh, marked
the other one a lot and well. So he did, you know, amazingly well. Go so please. The afternoon class, I didn't give them um, their papers back because uh, about half of them were not there. Morning class, they come, they come, they come. The afternoon class on a Friday, they don't necessarily come. So I didn't give it back to them, I told them this why. Next week, I think I'll give them a task on Friday just to see if the other teachers are right and that is the tasks that are pulling in our students and if we don't have tasks and that tasks are wrecking the system and people are gonna get tired of tasking and all that, I don't know. But anyway, I'll test, I'll test it. Next week, task on Friday. Um, the one task uh, I did have marked, and they did moderately well. And I marked that in the morning as well. I got two tasks marked in the morning. So please. Leaving me with the one long, big writing one that they did yesterday. And I didn't get that done today. It was just too much. But it was easier to mark than I thought it would be. Because the, the rubric was nicely set up. The rubric that I used worked well. So, hey. I think I'll pop that in one. I'll pop that. I think I'll pop that one in again because it just applies to many things. So that was good. And people will do better than they thought they would. And it's not how well they all do in comparison with each other. It's how well they do in relation to their own levels. So I looked at people who had a 2. And I thought, oh, wow, this is a, a level three task, and you're doing it. So, cool. So a lot of people are passing. Yay. But it's still too hard to mark for me to get it done in the one hour. Ears de round about. People crossing here. I guess I'm a little earlier than I was last week. Last week I was late. They actually have a crossing guard at this uh, roundabout because it is a major school crossing area. And because of the crossing students, you often are able to just whip out because. Students are st the, the cars are stopped there because of the students crossing there, so there are no cars passing. And now it's starting to rain, which is what they said would happen. That's fine. This buddy here is a major hurry. getting my patients or developing my patients because of the driving that I see it around me every morning especially every morning not necessarily afternoon hi you're over there are you um I came to a rather sudden stop yeah is it is it the students that are causing my patients to develop or is it the drivers the bad drivers because every morning I say to people as they pass me should have left earlier then you wouldn't have to rush lucky they don't hear me because I'm so annoying. Anyway, I, I think 